Take this one. Okay, so this one is just kind of weird. I don't even know who figured out you could do this, but, well, you can. So what you're gonna wanna do is start a new game, get shot in the face, and then name yourself something like Gunk, cause we're gonna set that intelligence down to 1. Maybe set your luck to 10, too, you're probably gonna need it. It's very important that you emphasize as much as possible to Doc Mitchell that he totally botched the brain surgery. Sorry, son. I fixed up your head as best I knew how. Remember, if you can count to 2, then you set your intelligence too high, how do we start? Before leaving, make sure to get back at Dr. Man by stealing all his stuff. Make sure to also grab this rusty knife on the shelf. Trust me, it'll come in handy. After ransacking the dock, just leave his house and wander your knife-wielding self over to Nellis Air Force Base. It should take about two minutes. Make sure to kill this guy, cause, uh, funny. <laughs> also, don't get blown up. If you're still alive, then just persuade your entrance into the base. Once inside, Hello what? There. just make your way over to the Nellis Medical Station, cause you're gonna be the prodigy surgeon that you always wanted to be. Yeah, baby! You can do it! Now, normally, you would use your medicine skill to heal the three sick boomers to gain some fame from their club. But you, my friend, you have one intelligence, so you probably don't know what normally means. For all you know, it could be a freaking verb. Instead, lie about having the necessary knowledge on how to perform three intricate surgeries. Despite lacking the ability to string together a simple sentence, you can convince this certified doctor that you are better than him. I'm telling you, the bar for wasteland surgeon is pretty low. Now, you may be racked with self-doubt and and probably blinding pain from the shrapnel of the explosions, but my friend, you are exactly what the boomers have been wishing for. One of these patients will bring up a text box saying, This man's leg is seriously damaged and will require amputation. Improper treatment will kill him. Again, you theoretically could use a medicine skill of 50 or higher to save his life. Boring. Or, by using your unique set of skills, you can just pull out your knife and you will be greeted by a new option. Instead of skillfully and precisely amputating his leg like normal, you can choose chop chop chop. The resulting text box relays that you pull out your blade and hack blindly at the leg. After a series of random and forensic cuts, you notice the leg is looking better. It looks like he'll be able to keep it after all. Now I know what they mean by dumb luck. You can only do this with the one boomer, but it doesn't mean you can't still try it on the others, or even the doctor. Congratulations. Despite your lack of any applicable medical skills and shot in brainness, you are now a certified wasteland surgeon. And honestly, you're probably better than most. I fixed up your head as best I knew how. Also, whoever found out you can do this, uh, how? Here's a medal. Goodbye, everybody.